Hello YouTube users, my name is Ripsy and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial we are going to be making the haunted house you can see behind me. I've changed my skin for the month of October and I'm feeling spooky so let's hop right into this tutorial. This is the main block palette. We will be using a lot of the stone bricks, also chiseled ones, polished and aside. Our walls will be made out of brown terracotta and dark oak planks. Then we are going to use some of the nether brick variants like the full blocks, slab stairs, but also fences and walls. The roof will be made out of blackstone stairs, blackstone full blocks and also blackstone slabs. And then we'll use uh, a lot of decorations like orange glass and orange glass paints, as you can see over here. But also a lot of blocks like the ones over here for this tower. So keep in mind that those are not all of the materials we will use, but the majority of them. This is the shape of the house. Make sure to count all of the blocks if you want to recreate it yourself. I'll pause for a little bit. Let's start off with our stone bricks and polished and aside at first and create a row right over here of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 out of stone bricks. With the polished and aside, we're starting off on the left side. Go up 1, stone bricks, 1, Polish and decide one, and we are alternate like that. So we are now at one, two, three, four, but five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Do the same on the other side. From here, count up to the seventh block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven should be a stone brick, and create a line from here to the other side should look like that. Let's bend the corner on the left and get your stone bricks again and just go all the way back to here and that should be a row of 15 blocks in total. Let's just quickly connect the whole bottom row with some of the stone bricks. So over here connected by 1, 2, 3, 4. Go to the left, 1, 2, to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To the left again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To the left once more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and connect up those 3 as well. From here, count from here to 1, 2, 3, and place 2 more. Then go this side, and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this side as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Go backwards, 1 and 2, pop it out by 1, and I'm going to replace this one as well just because of the terrain. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, backwards, 1, 1, 2, and connect it up to here. So that's just the whole shape of the house. The bottom row is just stone bricks. On the back end of the left side of the building, let's go to this corner over here. On top of this block, so this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's the same height as that one over there. Then from this pillar with this one included count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it should be the middle. Let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. I'll raise this one up to the same height as the other pillars as well. Then connect this line as well all the way back to there. Right now that should look like this. If you're building this in survival, this one won't really be necessary because you won't really be able to see it from the outside. But because we're in creative, we're going to make this pillar as high as the other one as well. And then, of course, connect it up over here. We'll skip this part over here right now, but on this block, let's connect it up to there as well. And the line over here won't really be connected, but just let's place one over here and one over there in advance. Over here on this corner, it will be the same as that one as well. So let's do it once more. And you guessed it, continue the line as well. And this part right here can be skipped for now as well. The walls are going to be made out of a mixture of brown terracotta and dark oak planks. Mixing them in sporadically, we are just going to make a border over there. Then raise up the sides a little bit, like this and like that. And the top part we don't need to do anything with because this is going to be a big window. Over here we're going to do the same once more, just with the blocks we have mixing them in together to create a uh, weird look. I'm sorry for the sun, let me just rotate it a little bit. But for this one we can go up a little bit and then make a border over here. So it should look like that. A little slit on the side which can just fill in with a mix of our blocks. And this part over here as well. And try to mix in your patterns so that they're not just all the same but look a little bit different next to each other. The sides over here are going to be a little bit different. Let's make the bottom row out of our wood and terracotta mixture but for these ones we are going to make smaller thinner windows so on the sides let's go up like that 
And then on the middle, we're just going to mix in two of the blocks. On this part, do the same as over there. Should look something like this. On top over here, we are going to do basically the same. So let's get a layer of our blocks over here as well. And then going up on the sides, but on this one, we are going to close them off on the top part. So they will be a little bit smaller than the ones below. If you've done it correctly, it should look something like this. Here on the back, we won't have any windows. So just close it off as you see fit with the blocks you get to make. Oops, I forgot. Let's actually connect the stone bricks over here as well. And we have the part over here. Let's actually move to this side over here. And we'll basically do the same as over here. So on the bottom, once more, a layer of our blocks on the sides as well. Something like that. Then leave the top part open. On this one, also a nice row of blocks on the sides as well, going up. And then you can connect the top parts over here. Something like that. So on this side, which is on the right over here, let's actually close this whole part off as well. We might actually get a door somewhere in this wall over here, but we'll figure that one out uh, when we get to it. And over here as well, on the row right here, let's actually connect our stone bricks up like that. I know I said no windows, but I would actually like to make a small one over here and let's replace that block right over there with a dark oak stair, like that. And I'm kind of hopping about on creating this building, but actually let's get on with the front. Let's make the stone bricks so that they are above these little corners up here. And let's actually connect the whole wall up itself. So it looks something like this. Now the bit that's popping out is going to be a little bit different. Before we do that, let me actually terraform over here a little bit. So we have a slightly more space to work with. Let's get our polished end aside and stone bricks again and go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On this side as well. And right in front of it, we'll have some slabs, three to be exact. And that's just a little way up to the front door. Do some pretty plugs to go next to the doorway. I chose the chiseled stone bricks to place just like that. And now combining some nether brick walls and nether brick fence, we're going to make a little pattern like that. Get some stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs and connect up a way over here. It's going to be a little bit finicky to place in, but over here like that. And then over here as well, like this. And in the middle, just straight to the other side. And using some blackstone stairs, we're going to create our roof over here. Just like that. Right over here, this is the line that's connected up. Let's connect from here to there. It should look like this. And on top of that, we can actually place in some blocks over here because this is the wall right here. On the inside, we actually need to place in a floor block. Or my temporary floor block will be spruce wood so that we can place in our door together with a lot of trap doors I'm going to use the dark oak kinds to nicely fit in with the wall i'm actually just going to use the dark oak trap doors all the way up to here so this side of the wall will be looking like this and in front of the door i'm going to use some dark oak stairs place them here and there it should look like that Use some brown terracotta and dark oak going to fill in the top over there. On top of here, get some blocks on the sides of the walls and create a thin, large window. And over here, you can actually connect it up on the top as well. So it should look like that. With the front out of the way, let's actually move on towards the tower. And we're going to remove a couple of these blocks because we're going to make the bottom part out of all stone, mixing in a lot of different types. For the sides, using the stone bricks and polished other side as we've done over here. And also mixing in moss, mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, mossy cobblestone, regular cobblestone, tough and ender side. So let's actually start on the sides, coming up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 as we've done all the way. Let's do that on all of the sides. It looks like this for now, but we're going to change it up a little bit. So for the bottom part, let's actually replace some of them with some moss. Not too much, but also not too little. It's going to be something like this. Then surrounding those on the bottom, we are going to use some mossy stone bricks all the way around. And also use a couple of mossy cobble as well to just get some detailing out of the way. Then going up, we're just going to slowly use some of the mossy blocks and also of the crack blocks, leaving those more towards the bottom and once we move up let me actually move up a little bit over here we're going to use more of the stone and the tough 
over here and once we move up even more we will start using in some andesite as well so it's going to be going up kind of like that let me do uh, the part at the front. There we go. As you might be able to see, I've used predominantly the green blocks at the bottom. Moving up with a little bit of the cracked and tough in the side. So the tough is actually the only block that's going from kind of down below it's all the way to the bottom. Because it is a kind of greenish hue and it works very nice with the stone as well as the moss. Having a couple of the cracked in the middle area as well. So all of the mossy is down below. Some of the cracked, tough and cobblestone is in the middle area. And the end side and the top is more at the top so let's get something like this on all four sides you can actually also i forgot to do it but let's do it real quick on these sides leave the polished end side but some of the uh stone bricks you can actually replace with the correct ones just like that also for the ones building this in survival or in creative doesn't really matter the inside won't really be visible from the outside of course so you could leave this part as it is i am going to fill it in Now that we have something like this, it is time to move upwards. So let's actually go for on the pillars with your stone bricks and polish the side and go up for another 18 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. And I know that is really tall. So if you're in survival, please make sure to bring something like a water bucket or a lettuce up there. Let's do this on all four of the pillars. Great, so that's the height of the tower. Let's actually go up here and have our stone brick stairs. And let's connect them up like this to have a bit of depth in our tower. Because we're going to build up with the normal uh, house blocks from here. From these stairs, go up on the pillar and count up by one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one, have a row of your stone bricks all the way around the pillar from this one go by another one two three four five six and get one over here as well and all the way on top of the tower let's raise it up by one more and create a last ring on the tower over here now it should look like this with your wall blocks being the brown terracotta and the dark oak planks we are going to continue the tower now on this side which is the side facing towards the house we are not going to have any windows on the bottom floor but just close all this whole thing up on the other sides we will have windows so let's get a border on the floor go on the sides of the tower and close it off on the top as well so these will be square windows do something like that on all the sides of the tower all the way up until the top when that's done it should look like this so only that one is filled in the rest of them all have a square window inside of it now let's get to work on the roof and then afterwards we'll put in the details of the house but for now the roof with the roof let's start off on the left side over here it's one here and pop one out get an upside down stair full block a regular one upside down full block regular one and another upside down full block and a regular one in the middle over here i'll actually place in a blackstone block over here Stone brick stairs over here and one over there as well. So two upside down ones. A chiseled stone brick over here with two of the walls on the side. If you can afford it, an end fill in the middle. But if not, you can place in a wall over there as well. I'm going to go with an end fill placed like this. And then chains on top of those. So it should look like that. And also a blackstone slab on top over there. So going down with a blackstone stair on side of the blackstone block. Full block upside down regular full block upside down regular full block upside down and another regular over here over here the roof is going to be a little odd because we will have the roof going up over here as well so just place in two full blocks like that and upside down on the side of that full block over here then a full block on top of that stair and a regular one over here then another upside down full block regular one and then over here we'll have the full block once more with the stone brick stairs like this. Chiseled stone brick, two walls on the side and fill on top and then the chains on top of those. Obviously once more the slab on top of that block. Regular stair on the full block, full block beneath it, upside down, regular, full block, upside down, regular and 
twist the corner over here. So from the front, it should look like this right now. Let's move to this side right now, which will be the same as the front over here. But we'll repeat it once more. So upside down stair, full block of black stone, regular, upside down, full block, regular, and upside down, full block, regular, and full block in the middle. Two of the stone brick stairs, chiseled stone brick, walls on the side, and fill on top, and then chains on all of those. Don't forget the slab on the full block over there. Regular, full block, upside down, regular, full block, upside down, regular, full block, upside down, and the regular to finish it off. And let's go all the way to the corner, twisting the last one. Let's pick it up on this side of the roof, going all the way to the other side with the regular stairs. And on this side, do the same once more. So upside down, full block, regular. Upside down, full block, regular once more. Upside down, full block and regular. And now that I look at this, I see that I've done something wrong. You can fill in this wall as well. Let's quickly do that. Now that this part is filled in, let's continue. Full block over here, stairs on top of that full block. Chiseled one. Uh, with normally walls on the side, but we can't do it over there, so over here and then anvil on top. Chains going up like that, and then the slab over here, and that's it. Now comes the part that we are connecting up the roof, and this is very easy. A lot of people usually struggle with this, but I'll show you how it's done. Let's go with this side over here first. Full blocks going all the way over here and we will use the full blocks because they are on the side as well then continuing with the stairs all the way to the other side from over here get the full blocks again and go all the way back and then the stairs once more going all the way back i hope this is uh, kind of visible because of the blackstone but we now have this we're just skipping the upside down stairs in the inside over here because the wall will connect up to here and it will look better in the end so over here once more the full blocks all the way to the other side then the stairs on top of that as well and then from here to there it's just the stair uh, the slabs going all the way to the other side right now one tip i can give you is to get these slabs from here all the way to over here and this is where they all connect together. You could opt to do something over here. Maybe you have one of those blocks once more with an anvil on top of it over this way. And a chain. It look like that. Maybe even a wall over here as well. So the roof over here is going to be a bit odd. I like to begin at the top for this corner. So let's get the stairs all the way to the corner over here. Twist them so they go into the wall over there the full blocks underneath them like that then from here get the stairs once more go all the way over here and twist them so they go into the wall then the full blocks underneath them once more and over here get these stairs again going all the way to here it's going to be a bit finicky to place them in but we will manage twist them over there and with the full blocks beneath them so you can place a couple of them on the wall to go up until there but over here is going to be a bit awkward let's uh, actually place in some of the full blocks up until here let's finish it off with some slabs like that so it's a bit awkward in this position right here but i think it looks good enough and let's connect up the whole front let's place the full blocks on top of the wall over here going from this part of the roof to that part and with these stairs, twisting them a little bit to go like this. After that, the other full blocks, let's connect them up over here and then back over here. With these stairs again, going up like this and around. Then the full blocks over here is actually higher up than what we have over here because it connects to a slab. But let's actually go all the way to this one on those. With the stairs on top of that, going all the way to here we now have this part connected and then the top part connected up to there over here let's do the stones as well with the stairs on top of them so we connect up this part to here then the full stones again going like this with the stairs on top of it to close off this part and then just the slabs going all the way 
to there. So that makes this part completed. As you see, very easy. The only finicky part is over here because it doesn't connect up that great. For the open bits, we have like this one right here. We're going to get our wall blocks again and mix them in carefully to fill in the top part of the roofs something like that and then we'll put in some details later on on the back as well something like that and then this part looks a bit odd so let's actually place in just one block like that and then over here just connect it once again this is the final part just place in a few blocks like that. Now that that's done, let's move on to the roof of the tower. For the tower, we're going to introduce a couple of deep slate stairs going all the way around like this. Then getting the chiseled stone bricks on the corners with stairs on top of that. And then again with the chains on top of those. For now that looks like this. And getting some black stone stairs in between. After that, we are going to get some full blocks behind those. So you can actually fill in the ones behind them as well. Then more stairs going all the way around. Again with the full blocks. And once you have the 3x3 area in top, this is the front of the house. So on the back and the front part on this one over here and this one over here. And to have the chiseled stone bricks on the sides and placing your stairs going like this. Let it kind of turn around. More of the chiseled stone bricks, and then having the walls on top of that. Chiseled stone brick in the middle, anvil in the middle like this, and then the chains on top of those. So it should look like this. Great, that's all of the roofs complete. Let's move on to detailing. First thing we'll do is go to all the chiseled stone bricks pointing out and place a black stone button on the faces of it. One over here as well. All the way at the top, place them on the sides as well. And then all the way over here on the bottom ones. And on the one at the top. For the windows, we'll fill them in with orange stained glass and orange stained glass panes. And we'll use some nether brick variations to make the window seals. So for the bottom, let's place in some full blocks of orange stained glass on the sides. Some glass panes against those. And in the middle, some full blocks of orange stained glass again. On the bottom, let's get our nether brick slabs and pop them out by two underneath the glass. And on the top, let's go over here, place in one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and one. So in a stepping pattern like that. With our stairs, let's connect them up like those. So turn them around so that they look like this. And then with the nether brick fences, connect them up all the way to the top on the side of these laps up until the side of these stairs. So it should look like this. On the window above, let's get the orange stained glass panes and create the window out of those. And then above this orange window, let's do a slight shape like that. So it doesn't really uh, connect up anywhere over here, but that won't really be visible. So we'll just keep it like that. Just a very simple shape. Over here, fill in the gap with the glass and get one block over there like that but this is the front done apart from the outside details over here over here we'll do the same as over there once again so for the bottom ones get the full blocks of orange glass like this orange glass panes on the side and then the full blocks of glass in the middle over here then popping them out by two under the three glasses and then over here one one two one two three one two and one getting the stairs and turning them like this again and then with the netherrick fences Connecting them up like that. So that's the bottom window. And then above it, get all of the glass panes like this. And like that as well. And then just a little wiggle over here like that. For our small window over here, just place in two of the glass panes. And that's it. For all of the windows over here, let's just connect them up from top to bottom like this. Fill them all in with glass panes. And then for the ones at the bottom, we're going to do one block above all of them. And for the ones at the top, we're just going to leave them like this. So very easy on the side. For the tower, every window will be the same once again. So we're going to place in all of the glass panes everywhere on the tower. Go all the way around. With all of the windows filled in, it should look like this. And then we're going to do the same decorations on every single one which is just the little wiggle like that over here as well over here as well and like that all the way around but it should give your tower a lot of nice mustaches above all of the windows <laughs> 
is going to move on to other details and these won't be a lot of them. So using change, we're going to hang a couple of saw lanterns from the roof over here. I'm going to use the saw lanterns because they emit a lot less light than the other ones and they just look a little bit more ominous. So just on that one over there, over here as well, and on the back as well on this side. Using some mossy cobblestone, some spruce leaves and also some berries. We're going to make a little area over here, which is kind of like, uh, well, not really, but it looks bordered off because of this. And in here, we're going to make a very small uh, grave because we want to make it look a bit spooky. Using pot soil and polished dirt, we're going to fill in the floor over here, apart from the ones the berry bushes are on. Let's get it a little bit uh like that going to place two spruce trapdoors underneath those you can actually dig something out and maybe put in a nice chest not per se a trapped one but let's get a double chest over here and over here we'll close it off with just a very nice grindstone over here which kind of looks like a gravestone in itself a little bit with two candles placed on top of it to make it look very ominous Obviously, you could, of course, put in the trap chest over here and then make a nice trap out of that. On this side, we'll get a little dividing uh, fence over there just to kind of shut off the grave from the front door because, I mean, someone would live here and you won't really be walking over there. And I also still wanted to have the side door over here, so just remove those three, replace the top and place the door right over here so it opens up like that. Uh, actually get a little stone brick over there as well and maybe a stone brick there which I can pick from here to there which looks like this and then a nice roof on top of it as well which we're going to copy from here so I'm just going to put one stone brick slab over here with one black stone stair going up to it now we just have a little side door over here we can even for just a bit of more detail get a stone brick wall over here with a little saw lantern on top of it the last detail to the house itself you can add is just a small chimney i'm going to put it right over here place in some blocks so you can put in your campfires on top of it i'm going to use the saw ones again because they emit less light i'm actually going to connect it up with the blackstone stairs on the side and I'm going to enlarge the roof over here, so I'm going to put in two of the full blocks over here and over there as well, in case these ones with these stairs. And then on top of that, I'm going to put two of the chiseled blocks. And then on top of that, once again, and hopefully the uh, smoke will show through, I'm going to place just two flower pots over here for the exhaust. And will smoke pop through it? Let's see. Yes, just a tiny bit. That's what I wanted. And also for some more detail, you can place some buttons surrounding this whole thing. Then other spooky stuff you could do is to get uh, just a couple of signs. I'm going to get the spruce ones and just board up a couple of the windows. Maybe something like this. That will do a part of the trick. Maybe some on these as well. And then you can even break out some of the windows and replace them with the spruce fences or just some more effects. So let's replace that sign over there. And then this gets a really nice effect of a broken down window. So you could even get some of the glass, remove it entirely. Uh, that's up to you. Right now it looks like broken down glass to me. You could also, to match the uh, color of the glass itself, get the acacia ones. And that might even look better. Let me try. Yes, I think I like that better. And one trick in combination with this that works works very nicely it's to get some cobweb and put those behind the fences over here so maybe just like that place those and that will make it look old as well like there's a lot of spiders inside of it which of course gets all of the cobweb in here it does a great trick of making it look even more spooky something what i like to do on spooky builds as well is to have a little easter egg on the back and somewhere so this is just in the tower which will be uh, at the top of your eye and what i like to do is to kind of get uh, something scary in here which you can barely see if you would look right up to it so i'm going to get an armor stand with a skeleton skull and just some iron armor i'm going to place the armor stand over here uh, kind of on an angle give it the iron armor 
you can just get rid of that uh, or maybe do the interior as well. Right now, if you would look up to it, you won't be able to see it. But if you were on a higher elevation, you would just be able to see a little ghost over there, which can make it very spooky. One thing I always like to add on uh, Halloween themed things or even scary or just fall related things is a small pumpkin patch. If I can find the pumpkins, that is. <laughs> There they are, a couple of carved and a couple of regular pumpkins. You could also place in some jack-o'-lanterns in between them and some pickles. And we can also use the new green candles. So let's actually place a few in the ground over here, a few regular ones, a carved pumpkin over there, a jack-o'-lantern like this, which will shine a lot because of the uh, shaders. But just like that, just a little patch of the pumpkins. You can also plant a few of them and then give them a couple of the sea pickles or the candles on top of it to look like the stems and this already makes it look a little bit better let me just amplify it a bit more there we go i planted two of them as well and then for the rest just some pots all coarse dirt and ferns work swimmingly for everything fall related so there we go a nice little pumpkin patch but that's actually all for the tutorial right here today i hope you guys like this haunted house and scare some of your friends with it uh, let me know what kind of traps or other scary details you will put in here in the comments below i would love to read up on some of those anyways thank you guys so much for watching my name is Rupsi. i hope you liked this video if you did make sure to leave a like as well and if you would want more content like this then make sure to hit that subscribe button including the bell i see you guys not hitting the bell to enjoy more of my videos in the future i'll be seeing you in the next video good bye